What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Vindactor and we are back on art today. Really quickly, uh, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to leave me a like. It really helps out with the channel and uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. So we are back today on the Small Tribe servers. You're going to notice off the bat that I do have a mana and the reasoning behind that is my Tyranodon died and honestly, I didn't want to tame another one just for it to get frozen by someone else on a mana. So we're just going to be using this to uh, get around for scouting just to try and find some bases pretty quickly and uh hopefully today we uh we can get some raids in and also prefab a base for some sneaky spots that i've been looking at and uh i, I know some of you are going to be sad about me using a mana but i mean it's what it is you're going to have to use them on these servers and it's really helpful for moving around and things like that i hope you guys are stoked for uh the series to continue it's been really fun so far and I'm excited to uh, keep it going. So yeah, with that being said, let us get into the videos, my guys. There's a guy right there. I really like this spot because you can see all the way through the dark cave underneath this mountain here. It looks like there's a guy. I thought he was on an Arthoflura. If I'm not mistaken. He is. There must be like vaults down there or something that are pin coated and he wants to see what's inside. So we will uh, go surprise him a little bit. Get some loot out of those vaults as well that he's uh, been farming up there. I actually do know this cave really, really well, so I'm not really worried about it. Pull my grapple out just in case he does pick me with the RG. Alright, move Mr. Uh, Megalosaurus. It's just around this corner. There's like three entrances into this cave, but I'm going to take the the biggest one, which is probably the main one that he'll be flying in anyway. Here he is. No, no, no. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm just starting too. I literally have no gear except this mana and what's on my player. He's on level 71. Yikes. This tribe name is interesting though, because that's a, a pretty big tribe on official. I don't know if he plays there. He has a bunch of stuff on him. This is sweet. Oh my gosh. And a crowd Arthur. That's what I, I really wanted. I actually tamed an Arthur this morning. You can see it on my hotbar, but it is really low level. So I'm glad he, he probably has a higher one. And that's pretty much all I'm going to take from that kit. And let's take a look at this RG bag again. Lots of spark. So we got an RG and a Pteranodon. I'll take one of those good crossbows. I'll even take that dead cryopod. Lots of spark powder. I won't be able to take all of this just because the mana has only a small amount of weight. I think you had a few, few blueprints in here. Yep. And everything else, just... I'll take the paste. Um, everything else... I don't know. It's just like a bunch of random primitive gear. Which, I mean, I am primitive at this point, but I, uh, I don't really need that. And I'm overweight already, so we're going to have to limit ourselves. Alright, we're going to head up into this uh, artifact compartment here. I just want to see what he was actually eating up here. Okay, it looks like there are some vaults and stuff. Just a bob. That's me. That's my tribe name. He actually destroyed the tech transmitter. So we're going to see what's in these vaults. Maybe he, he probably already took it all, though. Yeah, they're empty. I'll take an artifact. Why not? And we will uh, we'll head out. What are you doing, Mr. Wyvern? You do not belong there. 
You are owned by somebody. There's a raft right there. Looks like it has turrets. I actually think that they're on uh, the Thames, though. I'm just going to jump in and hope I can break it. The box isn't outside. I was hoping the cable box was outside of another. I can actually soak this somewhat. I don't actually have C4, so I can't like blow up that raft or anything. Which is too bad. Looks like those guys are at the raft and they're next to a transmitter. Maybe they have some loot. I actually think I'm going to... I'm going to shoot that wyvern really quick and see if it is on neutral. Maybe it has some stuff on it. And I missed. Can't see it behind that tree. Here it comes. He's, he's only, I think he's following someone. He's starting to head back there. I was kind of nervous about it shooting poison, but you have to enable that in like the settings of the wyvern, in the behavior settings, so I doubt that they allowed special AI attacks on it. Is just about done. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my dude. This thing is stacked. I'm too heavy. What, uh, I gotta eat some of these eggs. What do we got? I want to keep these. This is like exactly what I wanted was high level wyvern eggs. I need more weight. I saw that I got some uh, some dinos. I know I got a squid. What can I drop? I don't want them to come up here. I have some riot gear that is too heavy. I don't need this long neck. Oh my gosh. Alright, looks like two, three arthropleras. A squid, and I don't. I think that's a plesiosaur. That's actually nuts, dude. And a couple turrets, too. Well, there he goes. It's kind of weird. He's going like straight up. Maybe they have like a sky base or something, because I mean that's that's a good reason to uh, have a transmitter right there. I'm not sure. We will find him really quick. And I, I'm too scared to go higher. All right, we are looking for some rafts. I'm just trying to find a place to fix my flak up, and some of these rafts actually have a lot of metal. Hello, sir. That raft, someone's in that raft, they're driving it, but it doesn't look like they have any turrets on top. And I'm pretty sure this is blown into. There's a turret, but it's unpowered right there. You might just be moving it after it's been raided or something. So the problem is I can't jump off right now or else I will fall off the raft. So I just have to kind of have to wait until he, he stops or something. 
And I, don't, I think he's just going to take me to the world border right here and push me off. We'll have to see. Or he's going to glitch his, glitch his raft in. People love doing that. Well, he stopped at least so I can get off. Let's see what this guy's up to. Free mana. Looks like it's low level though. And not much. Bunch of chitin. At least I got a mana though. Another mana, so. I mean, even though I got given one, it's not like I wouldn't have found one if I just would have waited a little bit anyway. Just like this. He said he already got raided. Well, at least I got a mana from you, dude. I'm not I'm not sad about that. And I don't really think I'm going to take any of his chitin. I'll take the, some of that hide, though. And then he has nothing else on him. So I think we will just uh, head out of here. I always like checking this spot. Here's a little trick for you if you uh, if you didn't know. If we, you see you want to see behind waterfalls, just turn your render distance on low. Which I usually have mine on low. I'm not sure why I don't anymore. And it looks like there actually is a base behind there. Uh, some heavy turrets. But the generator is actually exposed. So should be pretty easy to get down. Although I don't have flame arrows on me now that I think about it. Ah, oh, that's really unfortunate because... That's such an easy shot. It's like one arrow and it's down because it's six times damage in that cave. Dang. Come on, dude. Have flame arrows. Just making sure there's nobody around me. Oh my gosh. Yes, dude. I'm so lucky. That's the thing about like green drops in the desert is uh, they usually do have flame arrows. Right. Moment of truth, baby. Alright, I gotta move up a little bit. Alright, let's aim this. And I think that was a little bit too high. That was a tiny bit too high, too. One more, that should be good. Yep. Alright, all down. Let us go check it out. They should be all down, I think, yeah. No problem. Right, they actually left all these on pin coded too. Some free ammo. Not that I really need it. I think I'm just going to live on a Quetzal for a while until I can get enough structures and turrets to make a base and this guy just spawned in. Peace out, homie. Alrighty boys, that is going to wrap up the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave that like. Um, we're going to continue on with the series. Got some, uh, some good stuff coming up for you. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, my dudes.